Good evening guys, um, Rainbow here, uh, doing my second part, well not second part, but the, the Jet Boost part of the Bouncer. Um, hope you guys enjoy the music, I won't be talking as much today, um, just look, just doing what I can do. Um, I'll go ahead and say it right now, I am not very good with the Bouncer Jet Boots. Um, I do not feel like I actually know how to play as well with it, I, as some other people do. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage. So, anyways, I'll go ahead, go ahead and get right to it. Um, the question, ah, I'm stunned. The question was, um, how do I actually change the, uh, how do you change the techniques with the PAs on the jet boots? Well, it's actually pretty simple, to be honest. Um, it's not that bad. Um, uh, there's nothing really special to do. Um, what you want to do is actually has a setup is, uh, ah, uh, oh my god, the lag is horrible today. Uh, it's probably my PC because I'm running like two other games at the same time. Don't ask what they are, I'm just running too many games these days. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so, what it is is your main slides right here. This is your main one right here. Uh, this is your main skill that you're going to use. So, it doesn't matter what it is, this is the skill you're going to use the most during your jet boots combos uh, when, you're running, when you're firing off your techniques. Um, because what it is is um, your shift button really does is resets. It really does is re just re completely resets your um, PA. So, for example, doesn't matter what PA I am on. Um, the moment I press shift, I reset it. So, obviously, except for your basic attack there. Now that's reset. If you do, you do your basic attack. Um, it does reset it to the point where um, I do the well. The special hits first, the the alt hits, then it resets your PAs completely. So what you want you want to keep in mind is, however, if your skills are running on, uh, why can't I get up there? Oh, there we go. Anyways, um, so for example, ice reset, ice reset. So you're just gonna do this over and over again for the main part. Um, because what you want to do is you want to proc your elemental um, explosions over and over again as much as possible. So instead of going and back and forth like blowing up two, two techniques, wasting your PP, um, you actually lose a lot of DPS. But uh, you actually lose a lot of DPS just by chaining out two skills. Like say, oh, I'll just charge up uh, two, um, go ahead and do this, then charge up another one. Uh, what it is actually, it runs off a lot more PP than you need to do. Because what it is is the jet boost elemental explosion makes up for the second makes up for the second PA uh, the PA that you're gonna use. The damage is almost about the same, not that much of a difference, especially in a massive amount of in mob fights. Um, you can't really tell. The damage is actually pretty good. Uh, so what you wanna do is mainly focus on your first, your very very first technique. That's your main one. So chain pop. So this this is pretty much it. And also one more thing you need to take consideration about the elemental explosion is the fact that it only can't store up to one charge. So So for example, then if I go into fire, my element becomes fire on my jet boots, right? But if I do do the ex elemental explosion, pop blow it, it goes back to the whatever the original element my um, boots are or in this case it's wind because well it is bio so I got no choice but so ice explode ice again and go back and forth just keep on going back and forth um obviously there are some cases that you do want to use two PAs or kick one then chain it it works either way you're on it's very, very flexible for um for the bouncer to play but however, that is what mainly you're going to do for a bouncer. It's very close range techniques. You don't want to use anything that's too far away. But because, well, for the main part, it's... um. So anyways, I'm um, sorry, kind of got lost in a moment there. 
uh, come on for Path of, forgot about the Chrome Dragon here. Um, but what it is is, uh, what was I gonna say? Right, um, your boots is just mainly a chain system. It's not really something that you really want to go ahead and go into like this. This is like all the PAs, the fight out PA system. The fight out PA system, what it does really is, is just for if you're running S attack. If you are running T attack, you, what, you don't want, you, what you want to do is go ahead and do the reset PAs. Um, it's probably one of the easy ways to play. Yeah, bye bye, Grim Dragon. I was talking. Oh, is there another one? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Um, so, if you are running... Ooh, rare drop. Or is that units? I think it was units. I fear it's units. Yes, it is units. God damn it. This game. Anyways, um, if I'm running boots, obviously I am going to run the PAs more than I run the techniques. It's because, yes, I am I am running hunter on sub, so... I am <laughs> I am orienting on S attack. Oh god, I'm going to die. So, anyways, um, PA is obviously there's only four, so you're gonna repeat the four over and over and over again. It's pretty fun. You can change it in a lot of ways, left and right, um, because there is the alt changing for normal attacks. So, normal, and you switch into the alt. Um, then you switch to the second PA, and your PA can be canceled anytime during your. Oh my God, that's a rare! Hey, hey, hey! You know what? I'm gonna kick you in the face just for a kick of it. No, don't move! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> But there's a lot of ways to chain the PAs. And there's a lot of ways for you to die, <laughs> apparently. It's only one, right? So. Oh, no, there is two. Is that the second one, a rare two? Oh, whoa. fun. And it blew me away. Dead gum it. Kick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm running S attack, so obviously I'm going to be running something really heavy on the um, just PAs and not techniques, because obviously my techniques doesn't scale with S attack. But if you do are running um, something like T attack, uh, I suggest you do run it with um, as a sub and not as a main. Um, a lot of people do like to run bouncer on main. Uh, I don't. Uh, for Actually, kind of a silly reason is because I don't find Bouncer to be that great on main. It's not bad. I admit, it's not bad. Unless you are running S attack on Jet Boots, yes, you need to have it on main. But if you are running like T attack, I don't suggest Bouncer on main. It's just. There's not enough pros to outweigh the pros of the other T, um, to other classes that are have, like heavily T attack based. So, for example, you have your Force on main. Um, that's great for T attack. So, obviously, you're going to run that on main. And Bouncer, there really isn't anything to boost your T-Attack if it is on main. There is no main class skill only that increases T-Attack. Only the S-Attack uh, with a Switch Strike. So, yeah. Uh, so, and then you have your Tekker. Your Tekker is obviously, um, well, boost-oriented, health-oriented. So, it's actually a lot heavy. Um, you have that 2-minute boost buff and everything. You have your increased attack by your shift uh there's a lot more things for the main class on the other two than, oh, excuse me, I'm burping. <laughs> um, there's actually a lot more pros for the other two classes than it, there is for a bouncer. Not that bouncer has any cons, it doesn't, it really doesn't. It's okay, um, it works like either way, just I do believe the other two classes has the advantage over T attack than bouncer does. But um, you can look at it both ways. If you do like the uh, bouncer on main, that's fine. Um, every now and then, if you're running bouncer tech, which is possible, um, you can actually do the switch strike over and over again and going to S and T attack because bouncer uh, because the techer has a very high S um, S attack. So it does work. It's not that it doesn't work. Um, we can we can figure it out for you guys, but. What? Why doesn't damage show? That's not fun. 
<laughs> 1,000 on the cat. Anyways, um, but that's my that's my suggestions. Um, nothing too. Oh my god, all the cats chasing me. <laughs> but for technique, that is what you're gonna run. If I am running uh, bouncer, I will be running an on sub, and Tekra is going to be main. But lately, I am. If you, I, I thought about it. If I am going to run it this way, I might as well run the one of the more obscure top tier classes. I mean, there's a lot of builds for classes. Like, okay, I'm gonna run like fighter hunter. I'm going to run bouncer hunter, uh, braver hunter. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to run a lot of stuff. And but there are those that it's still considered like top tier runs. Like a lot of people run it because of the high damage output. And I run one of the more obscure ones that no one ever really thinks about to be a top tier. It's because it's just weird. Um, I run the um, I run Tech Main with Braver Sub. Um, that's uh, that's actually one of the top uh, top tiers that a lot of some people do play, and quite a well quite a few in Ship One. Yeah, they run Tech Main with Bouncer Sub for the um, for the very very heavy just basic attacks. Um, because of your wand with your normal attack increase on your Braver, uh, I'll show you guys in a bit actually if. I have time, or if I remember, uh, is the uh, your one base attack goes skyrocketing because of um, because of Raver, and you are looking at the low ends around 10k per hit. Uh, obviously, against your element, because you do have the elemental weak hit on. Um, if it's not against your element, you're looking at about 8 8k, 7k, 8k ish. Uh, weak spots. If it's on your element, you're looking at about 30k damage. Um, if it's on a weak bullet, you're looking at about 130k. Um, basic attack, just basic hitting. You're just hitting the 430k. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun, and because of the recent boost and buffs to Tector, Tekker, it has a lot more defense, a lot more HP, and with the S attack, shift the S attack, um, the damage actually goes off the roof. So, you guys can try it out. I'll guys, I'll show you guys in a bit after I get done with this. I got about 100 points left, now, which I am not doing anything. I'm just sitting here AFK while letting everybody else do the work. So, as I was saying, um, I'm not very good with the jet boots. I lack a lot of skill. I don't feel comfortable playing it. That's the main thing I guess you can take out of it. I just don't feel comfortable playing the jet boots. It's great, it's amazing, but it feels like me and jet boots is just not a match. It's weird. It looks awesome though. I admit, it looks very awesome playing it. Um, I love this thing, but especially against the um, Magatsu. Which is tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record it or not. We are running it as a team. Night Arcs. Um, a lot of you guys know us. Some of you guys don't. That's okay. Um, we're pretty well off, I guess. Um, our leader is awesome. I joined the team a long time ago. And just pretty much never came back to ship 2 after I joined. Then uh, I came back all of a sudden. And I'm still in the team. I was like, yay, what do you know? But anyways. So, I'll, I'll see if I can record it. If I can't, oh well. Um, I usually do forget <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, and I'm done. So, okay, I'll just go ahead. First, the first thing I'm going to show you is the tree build for, for the bouncer. Um, bouncer main, obviously, hunter sub. Or you can go tech main, bouncer sub, force main, bouncer sub. It goes either way. It works both ways. Um, a lot of things are exactly the same. Nothing changes really on the tree. It doesn't matter what build you go with and what class like main what class sub you are running so go ahead and show you guys the tree and I'll go ahead and switch back to my um, my favorite build obviously it's a tech bounce uh, tech braver I absolutely love it um, it's amazing uh, and the lag is horrible by the way hope you guys love the music um, still running the same albums the new albums are coming in um, I just got one two days ago, three, yeah, three days ago, just got a new album, but it's in there somewhere, it's, it's a one of those singles, so it doesn't have as many songs, but it's in there somewhere mixed in, I'm sure you guys can hear it every now and then, 
Uh, so, right, right, right. What am I doing? Skill tree. So, Jet Boost Skill Tree, it's the same thing. I'm level 75 with ASP extra. I don't know what I'm gonna put it with it. Um, but yeah, this is what you're gonna run. You guys can go ahead and look over and check it out. Um, I do have this because I am running main. If you're not running main, you can still put it on there. You can use this. You can utilize the same skill tree, going main as strike or as attack, or going sub on the attack. Works both ways. Um, you ha you'll have plenty of points for it. Obviously, this is gonna be maxed out. Everything on the bottom, and you don't need to take any of these, um, like the heal shear, heal bonus. If you want, go ahead and take it. Uh, since I have eight points, you know, I'm just gonna max out this. For a just resource or PP recovery, um, so you'll have a you have quite a bit of points left extra, but it works out. And um, obviously, hunter your typical hunter build, max out everything on the left side, and take iron will, and never give up. Um, obviously, there's a lot of ways to run. A lot of people have been like liking to run the mass hunter, this one right here. The massive hunter is pretty cool. It makes you well, not well. It makes you massive, obviously. You, doesn't get knocked down, you don't get blown back, you don't get stunned, nothing works on you pretty much. It's pretty cool, a lot of people like to run it. Um, I do have another build, um, not a build like I like to play a lot because I get criticized for it. It's running Force Hunter. Uh, it's like a haha, -ha, right? Force Hunter, but it, it, it's okay. It's, it really it works out for me. Damage is not as high, but I don't die as much. So it's pretty cool. But, um, going back, so... Go ahead and show you guys. So this is pretty much the build and this is the one I'm talking about right here. Um, I am really hooked on it, as always. I've been playing this build for a long time. Tech Braver. Been criticized for oh a good year or two for playing it. Ever since I don't know, ever since Braver came out, I've been playing Tech Braver for it. Even before the um even before the thing came out. Even before the um attack advance came out, I've been playing Tech Braver for quite a bit. I used to use the um, the pickaxe, which was technically made for Hunter. I kind of built it into a Braver build, but anyways, um, this is your my Braver build. Uh, Braver as a sub, obviously. Still four S points extra. You don't need this, the Braver Mac, because you are running tech. This helps you with the um, R attack. You don't need this thing at all. Um, so yeah, that's the build. Uh, and obviously, I named it. Wand festival because you're just gonna use the wand. You're not even gonna use any of the PA the techniques actually. Your techniques are just there for show for this. So it's a pretty crazy skill tree. Um, go ahead and show you to you guys. Long assist, extend assist. Obviously, it's on one point in rare mastery because you're running it on me. Wand gear, PP recovery, shift advance, all of this crap. You know the mumbo jumbo. Then you take out this. Obviously, max out your HP. Reverse bonus in case you you know you are taking the uh, half support I guess. Uh, then obviously one gear, you know with the one lover, then the one reactor to keep your one fully engaged, increase your and then increases your um, S attack by 40% of your T attack. So amazing by the way, absolutely amazing. And uh, you do want your super treatment. Um, the cool thing about super treatment is you know you get you get alignment the ailments or like. You get burned, you get poisoned, you get mirage, you get confused, whatever. Anti yourself, and you get your PP restoration really, really high up. Um, territory burst, the common character stuff. Then you have your PP combat. PP combat only took six points. I didn't want to take seven because I don't want to lower my HP anything other than 75%. I mean, come on, I am going melee, so I don't really want to lower any of this. So, and obviously, elemental weak hit. And you no, know, and this is the crazy part. I don't take anything in the trees. This is you don't take any of this. Um, it's a waste of skill points because you are going melee. You are going literally pure ass attack on this skill on this build. Um, your main skill is going to be your zone deal. Grab everybody inside and just start smacking away. You know, um, I'll go ahead and show you two guys. It's pretty cool. So this is not needed. Um, it's just for like looks. You can throw out your techniques. I do throw it out a lot of the time. It's just for looks. They don't do any damage. It's horrendous. It's like I throw out ill grants are doing 800 damage per click. I'm mean, going really and then you're looking at the other guys are throwing out for 7,000. <laughs> but anyways, so this is a crazy build. None of these ever. 
just your weak hit and all your melee stats. So we're gonna go ahead and go into it and I'll show it to you guys. And that's a lot of question mark boxes. Okay, um, so fan. All right, the stupid fan. Um, I just got this actually. It's my first 12 star actually. Yeah, kind of sad, right? Consider how long I played this game. It's actually my first 12 star that I got on ship two. So my first one. It has to be a talisman. I hate talismans. Um, not that they're not good. I just don't like them. <laughs> just don't like them. You don't have to ask why. I just don't. Um, so obviously you're one. You do want to use the, uh, the trader cage. Uh, why? Because of this, it's a passive. Uh, your normal damage is increases your normal attack damage. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't say the percentage, but it is 70. It, it increases it by 20%. And obviously, the slot is not done yet. Um, I will be finishing up the slot, do another video on it eventually. Um, I'll be finishing the slot up with um, 100 S attack and 100 T attack. I'm going Anga so actually on this. Run the Anga, Power 4, Tech 4, Vink, and Mutation. Uh, and ability 3. So I'm running the 100 attack build, um, do 100 attacks, but it's gonna stay 70, 75, 75 for now, just for kicks of it. Um, I don't want to, well obviously I don't want a chance at 90% on ability 3 because it's doo doo. So, obviously, uh, right, so go ahead and go to block 1. Is that the one? Yeah, okay. So, Go and go into uh, no, let's run another limited. Yeah, let's run another one. Seven and eight. Watch one and eight. Let me start running limited quests these days because it's actually pretty boring. Um, the map is really big, a lot of monsters are spread out, so you really can't use a booster efficiently. You use a booster and half of the time you're running through the quest inside you're killing things. But I mean Magatsu is here. You can get like a hundred cubes in Magatsu. So why not? I mean just build some cubes on it. Um actually like I was actually raging the other day. I got so pissed off because um I couldn't get any thirteen stars. In the end I couldn't get any from the hundred percent boost week. Hunted over 800 Angus now. Um, I do have the counter, I believe. Yes, 824. <laughs> I got zero. <laughs> but I came here. I came in today. Um, I ran a quest on this one. Just ran it. Um, I got three of the 12 stars. Three of the 12 stars. All three talismans pissed the living heck out of me. Um, but hey, it's a it's a 12 star. You know what? I'll take it. But still, I don't like talismans. <laughs> so. Obviously, average stance is the thing to go with, but you can go with weak weak stance. I mean, if you're confident enough to go around just smacking people. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys the build. No, why don't they come in? Okay. Ow. But yeah, well, you see the damage. Um, that's your typical damage. So, it's actually a lot of fun. But it's not fun when you're the game is lagging like that. Switch to something, you know what? The your PA, your your techniques are just useless. So I don't even know what I want to use. You know, I'll go with a classic, like I get all oh, no, this, I guess, or a grants, just for kicks. Let's see how much damage I do. Oh, he, look at that! Actually, does some damage. Oh, God, the damage is horrendous. And the social lag. Uh, 
Uh, stop lagging, stupid game. But yeah, the cool thing is now with the Braver, you have that dash. Um, it has a dash JA for you. It has a dash circle, which you don't have on the other class except only JA. So you can actually spam this a lot of the times. Uh, your snatch, snatch dash, the snatch thing, you know, gives your dash the damage. Then you have your J to just smack people. You can just la dash left and right and just like go through people and smacking them, which is pretty fun. <laughs> and you never get hit. Um, so go ahead and call these guys in. And we'll go to town. <laughs> I don't know why the game is lagging, to be honest. Okay, I need to like turn something off, like I think. <laughs> Too many games on. Okay, is that a foul's arm? Yeah, it's a foul's arm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stop here in a bit. I mean, no, they killed it before I can do anything. No, and the game is lagging. Oof. Why was it like? Why wasn't it lagging like two minutes ago? Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's your average damage output um, for Tech Braver. It's really nice. It's really fun. Um, you guys try it. It does get pretty boring because you're not doing any cool stuff and you're in the middle of a fight. You're, you're the guy that's, you're the idiot that's dragging everybody into the fight. So, but yeah, um, that pretty much concludes it for today. Um, I will go ahead and do like another more specific video for the Tech Braver, because I think it's a really cool class. Um, a lot of people dismiss it, so... But yeah, you can see the damage on your technique is actually pretty low. And so is your heal, I mean. Yeah, look at my heals. But since it is light, by the way, um, it's a light one. Against Chrome, it's actually very powerful. <laughs> very powerful, excuse me. As if the light can go away. Oh, weak bullet. I want to hit it. Now it's going to kill me. Okay, no, I'm gonna give up and just call it a day for you guys because I can't stand this lag and I need to go turn off some games. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, go ahead and give, go ahead and give me a thumb up, thumbs up if you feel like it. Um, or boo, doesn't matter. <laughs> At least I know you guys watched it. <laughs> um, anyways, alright, I'll see you guys later.